Hey everyone, my name is Dan Bernard, and so I'm gonna show you guys a few ways to round trip your audio workflow from Premiere Pro into Audition and then back into Premiere Pro. So here I have a very simple interview set up. It's a two camera shoot with my good friend, Barry. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. And a lot of times it's just getting to know the people at first and you know, and just talking to them. So let's say I'm happy with this entire sequence and I wanna go through and level dialogue and level music and tweak any sound effects if I have sound effects in my sequence. That's really easy. I can go up to edit, edit in Adobe Audition and hit sequence. And here it's just asking me, what do I wanna name this? So I'm gonna name this Barry Interview. And then I'm gonna leave this information the same because this is where it's gonna put any audio and video render files. If you want a different place for Adobe to place that in, go ahead and hit browse and choose a different folder. I'm gonna select entire sequence instead of work area because I want the entire sequence, not just a piece of it. The video, I want it to send through dynamic link. I don't want to export or render another video. I usually uncheck render audio clip effects and send clip volume keyframe metadata because I want to edit the original raw audio, not deal with any tweaks that I may or may not have accidentally made in Premiere Pro. And of course, I want to leave this check because I want to open it in Adobe Audition and then I'll hit OK. So now Premiere Pro is sending XML data to Audition so it can reference all the cuts, all the ins and outs, and everything that I've done in Premiere Pro will translate perfectly into Audition. So here we are in Audition, and if I scrub through this, here's my interview, all my footage is up here. The audio is in the same tracks that it was before. And a lot of times it's just getting to know the people at first, and you know, and just talking to them. And let's say I want to click on it and add some fades by dragging these fades here in and out. And a lot of times it's just getting to know the people at first and, you know, and just talking to and them. And let's say I'm happy with that. Maybe I want to boost it a little bit. And a lot of times it's just getting to know the people at first and, you know, and just talking to them. Let's make sure I'm not clipping there. And okay, sounds great. Of course, once you're in Audition, you have lots of options, lots of fun things to play with, and lots of different tweaks and effects you can use to adjust your audio to your liking. But that's totally for another tutorial. I'm just gonna show you how to get from Premiere into Audition and then back into Premiere so you can keep working. If I'm satisfied with all the adjustments that I've made, I can go up to File. I can go down here to Export, Multi-Track Mix Down, and click Entire Session. Here it will combine all the tracks, all the edits, the fades, any adjustments that I've made to the audio, and mix it down and bake it into one WAV file. So everything here looks good and I just click OK. So now that that's done saving, I can go back in Premiere, double click in my project window, go to my interview folder, right where I saved it, and bring in my new audio mix down. And if I zoom out here, in theory, I should be able to just grab this, bring it to the beginning of the clip here, disable this audio, and then if I zoom in and listen, and a lot of times it's just getting to know the people at first and, you know, and just talking to them. So everything's in sync perfectly. My fades and my adjustments to the volume have been saved. And any adjustment that I've made to the entire sequence will be applied to this mix down. And if I need to go back and reference my old audio, as long as you put it into a separate track and have it able to be enabled and disabled, you can hear it from there. Let's say I don't want to adjust the entire sequence. I just need to adjust one clip. Well, that's easy too. I can go down to the clip I want, right click and say, edit clip in Adobe Audition. So if I go back into Audition, here is that waveform. And a lot of times it's just getting to know the people at first and, you know, and just talking to them. So now I can do those same adjustments. I can bring in some fades. I can select everything, boost it a little bit. So it's nice and full without clipping. And a lot of times it's just getting to know the people at first and, you know, and just talking to them. And let's say there's some other adjustments I want to make. Like there's a little click right here where I think he claps his hands and I don't want to, I don't want to hear that. So I'll select that, bring that way, way, way down. Just getting to know the people at first and, you know, and just talking to them. 
And let's say I'm totally happy with the way that sounds. I can just hit Control S and save. And then if I go back into Premiere, you can see that right down here it says Track 2 Audio Extracted. That is a different file that has been brought into Premiere from Audition. Now, if I listen to it. And a lot of times it's just getting to know the people at first and, you know, and just talking to them. So now all the adjustments that I've made in Audition have been brought back into Premiere Pro and I can keep on working on the next clip. All right, so there's a few ways to work with Adobe Audition and round trip back into Premiere Pro. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future. Thanks for stopping by.